Hi, welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I want to stop and just tell you all, there are a few pictures in here you may think are graphic on the bird flu and what is going on in this country and how it is growing and it is coming into more states as we speak. But you all need to be aware of what is taking place. So just be warned that there are a few pictures on this video that could be considered graphic. Thank you and I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and it's Sunday it's time for more food prices and food shortages and everything else that's going on between the war and the bird flu we're covering all that today. The pictures and stuff to keep rolling in the shortages are still there it's a never ending battle folks it just seems like the cases are empty this seems like they just can't get enough product in the stores now yes this is not all over the country some stores are fully stocked and in other parts of the country other stores are not there's a lot of different stores that are closing they don't have the products on the shelf and if they do they've shrunk them way down so that the shelves will look full but they don't have the availability and the stockpile like we used to have there's holes everywhere you look if you go into a store you're going to find holes on a lot of different products from your regular products your baby foods and all this type of stuff it is all still there it is not going away it is only getting more expensive for you to shop to buy what you may find in the stores at this point in time pastas and rice and all those type of goods are in high demand because they have a long shelf life and people are starting to be aware of that in some areas you can't even buy your pet foods and pet supplies and all that different stuff because it's just not there some stores are putting up signs and say new products will be coming soon in the empty shelves gas prices folks what do you think about some of these gas prices this is just getting ridiculous and it's only going to get worse as this war starts and continues on we are the ones that are going to be paying the price at the pumps prices around the country have already started to spike regardless of the whole oil that peaked the other day just above a hundred dollars a barrel and as of right now is 93 dollars and 74 cents a barrel but all these companies and everything else have already increased their prices ungodly amount of money for gasoline in certain parts of this country and it's going up everywhere you live eventually if you haven't been infected by this price increase it will be knocking on your door soon so you need to plan ahead now and do what you can to hopefully be prepared for that this is just incredible this one is out of California they always have the highest gas prices unreal we have the war that's going on between Russia and Ukraine and until we can figure out somehow to put an end to this devastating war that is not called for even the Russian people are protesting the Russian government over this they don't want war this is doing nothing but hurting the whole world and killing innocent people it doesn't need to happen it's going to cause prices to rise everywhere everybody in Ukraine is taking up arms and fighting for their country and may God be with all of them. My thoughts and prayers go out to them. 
The next few images could be disturbing. So if you want, click away now. But you need to understand what's going on. The bird flu is spreading. This is a turkey farm. And they have harvested these turkeys early before the bird flu got to them. Now, what's really going on is it's spreading across the country. In Delaware, they have found it was infected into a large flock of chickens there. 2.1 million chickens have been killed so far in just the United States. Just the United States, folks. This is a tragedy. This is going to hurt the population and what is in the stores. You all need to plan now and be prepared to pay more at the stores. Thank you for joining me on this video today. Y'all stay safe. Keep prepping.